this is Moneyway speaking. Welcome to this channel and welcome to me playing a blitz game against without BR. Let's see if we can find out a Russian player probably. At least the Kyrillic characters seem to tell me. And we will see. He's uh, rated a lot lower than I am currently, but um, recently I had some bad defeats against players with low ratings, so let's be careful and let's be thoughtful about the moves. Should we go for the classic position? Probably not. The, normally I would go to uh, d3 with my bishop, but he might have that nasty c4 against it, so let's develop here instead and take the uh, knight. Let's see. Let's see. What can we do with the drunken sailor? We have threatened to take c6 now. So, he should have taken some kind of care by taking the queen, so any in-between stuff can't really work. I think we are easiest off taking, taking again, trying to um, use the material advantage we have now, or I have actually. It's a pawn that I'm up. Let's give a check. He probably put his bishop in between. Yes, he does. And um, I'm not sure. I think this wasn't such a bad space in the first place. So let's go back to d4. Um, -dum -dum -dum. More ideas, new ideas, perhaps trying to open up the center a little, giving free lines for both of us, but being prepared to occupy them with my rooks. Um, let's make sure there's no need for the queen to take care of a f square like c2 forever. She was the only the only one protecting this pawn, so um, moving a pawn into a place where he, he's guarded by his neighbor probably makes life a little easier down there. So, more attacks coming from a queen. What is he doing? Let my queen have her peace. She's a peace after all. <laughs> I'm loosely attacking him, he's protected by by the queen. Might have ideas of moving around here on the board. Um, also, I should definitely open this rook's possibilities, getting to d1, e1, squares like that. I might have also classical uh, rook f3 ideas. Those are actually pretty common in the bird um, system I'm playing. I don't think the offered queen exchange will help so much because it opened the c5 for for black so perhaps rather trying some discovered stuff moving the bishop out of the way and thus attacking the queen on d6. Let's see if that could possibly work. He denies that. And now we should probably go offensively because we are protecting this pawn twice while it's attacked twice as well. Everything is alright there. Um, let's make this move attacking d7. If it takes, I attack back for the queen. And I hope he's trying to get onto the c3 pawn, 
but he saw that unfortunately I have to say um, <laughs> we can position our bishop in a better f square than before he was on d2 and now on b2 he's looking very much um, towards the black king because I would definitely like to double up the queen and the and the bishop on this diagonal perhaps I should start doing that um, can I? yes I can I was scared of this quick uh, shortly but uh, I just have the taking uh, he's trying to get rid of my queen of course I could go in here and probably I should because there's not too many other places to go I could be here too is this more interesting? I don't think so. Let's try to get to either g7 or h8 with this little little move here. He's trying to fight against it. Mm, what about what about time? Can I take here? Actually, no, I can't. Can I? I can't. I would have this check. Let's think about that for a second. That looks good because now I'm doubling up on this bishop here. And I hope, I think, I believe he's falling apart now. Trying to threaten more checks. Dangerous checks for black. And I'm up a uh, healthy bishop and one more pawn right now. I'm a little down on time, but I think it should be okay, it should be possible to win without BRs starting to think and I can grab one more pawn threatening the pickup of this rook and actually I do get the chance to now I'm very much in a winning position I don't think I can fail it anymore really check because it's discovered um, now yes it's time to give up actually well that worked pretty well let's have a short and quick look at the computer analysis of this game uh, let's see um, what the computer thinks especially of the opening and the middle game the early stages of the middle game before I um, started to win material why is it dropping here? Oh, I should have taken with the, with the rook, of course, yeah. Because that's a fork, essentially a fork on the queen and the king. And I uh, end up with having the queen on the board instead of having the rook on the board like what I played. This leaves me the rook, and otherwise I would have been left with the queen like this. He basically has to take, and I'm up even more material. That was brain fuck. I just didn't didn't see that and um, that's the point here this move which looked l totally logical and I actually expected something like that because I would have done similar as a black player uh, I was threatening uh, c4 the pawn advance and um, he was scared of that so he put something into c4 so I couldn't just push the pawn but uh, luckily I saw this uh, nasty move here that check and the material win here on d7 before the game was very much equal slight white advantage in the opening slight black advantage but barely noticeable for a human being so i'm pretty pretty okay with the with the game i think that was um it was a good way to beat someone 200 points uh, weaker just to stay calm, to wait for the chance, and then to use the chance when it came. So, that's okay. I hope you enjoyed watching, and um, I promise to, yeah, to add some more English-speaking content to this channel in the future. And uh, I would like if you came back and checked again in a few days, a few weeks, and grabbed just whatever you liked. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.